this is a very special video because I will be doing this as per request by one of my subscribers and um, I'll be doing this in a little more detail as compared to uh, my discussion about markup, markdown, and mark on. So, dahil sa request din, gagawin ko tong video na to entirely in Tagalog. So, you'll be able to understand this uh, more completely. So, let's get started. So, uh, again, ito ay uh, special video from what we have covered in the past, markup, markdown, and markdown. So, I'm going to do a detailed uh, discussion about markdown. No? Paano ba siya kinocomputer? Paano ba siya nakukuha? So, first, let's define ano ba yung markdown. So, when you say markdown, this is a reduction in the regular selling price of a product. So, kabawasan siya sa presyo ng isang produkto. Now, the sale price is the reduced price like what we are showing below. So, markdown is equals to regular selling price minus sale price. So, pag sinabi mong markdown, yung regular price, no, yung nakatakda talagang presyo, let's say this is 1,000 minus the sale price. Let's say from 1,000 naging 950 na lang siya. So, if you would uh, deduct the two, that's going to be the markdown, okay? Or if you would be uh, subtracting the two. So, markdown yung magiging kinalabasan niya. Now, the rate of markdown, markdown is always based on the regular selling price. No? So, based just sa selling price. Markdown is equals to markdown over selling price. So, when you say markdown, bakit ba siya ginagawa? For what reason do um, products or business with certain products uh, mark down their prices? Bakit ba siya binababaan? So, binababaan siya because of market uh, conditions like competitor pricing. So, kailangan mo makipag-compete or you wanted to um, dispose of certain um, stocks. Like, kailangan mo na siyang ubusin. Uh, let's say, itong product na to or sir, uh, product na to ay... Uh, na may expiration date and you don't want to uh, be in a position na you have goods na hindi, you can no longer dispose. So, rather than not making money out of it, you dispose it uh, less than what the actual price is or the regular price. So, while a business might be willing to have zero profit, they don't want to lose money handling the product. So, kahit min minsan, ano, yung tinatawag natin concept na break-even, Kahit wala nang kitain, balik puhuna na lang. Ano? Um, they don't want to lose money while handling the product or yung pag-turn over ng product. Uh, it does not mean na when you want, when you offer zero profit, ay parang ibibigay mo na lang halos yung product mo. It does not mean that way. Uh, most, most of the time, it's just break even or very minimal loss no, from the a cost price okay so the total cost of the product includes the cost of buying of the product and the expenses involved so kung recall ninyo in my previous discussion uh, i introduced to you this triangle ito yung magiging guide mo yung markup rate cost and se uh, of sales and then parang pinakang guide mo to eh no yung pyramid now um you have to make sure that you know all of the elements in the computation para ma-compute mo yung markdown. Now, total cost is equals to cost plus expenses or TC is equals to C plus E. Again, bakit pa, baka magtanong kayo, bakit kailangan pa natin itong pyramid na to? Now, what's the purpose of this? So, I'll show you here bakit ba natin siya kailangan. Let's say this is our example. Ano? Let's say we have a bicycle shop. Tapos, we buy the parts and assemble the bicycle. So, binibili natin yung raw materials natin, yung mismong parts, and then tayo na yung nag assemble And then, lahat yon ay 7,000 pesos. No? Lahat ng raw materials. Operating expense amounts to 20%. 20% ng uh, cost. And then, our target profit is 50% from the cost. 50% from the cost. So, what we need to know is the selling price, the markup, and the markdown. 
Kasi again, hindi mo malalaman yung markdown unless all of these things are already given. No? The selling price, the markup, and the rest. No? So we have to know those first in order for us to determine what is the markdown. Okay? If the unit will be sold at a maximum 10% off. So again, yung markdown ay dependent, no? Kasi pwede nating sabihin, 15% off, 20% off, or 50% or 70% off, it depends, no? Um, so dito, sa given natin, 10% off lang. So, having said that, let's try to check one by one ano-ano ba yung mga hinahanap natin. So, una, we have to look for cost. What's the cost? 7,000. Given naman na yun, ano? Yung bicycles daw, yung materials, in order for us to assemble it, costs 7,000. Next, we have the operating expense. Yun na yung labor, no? Yung pagkakabit nung, let's say, kasi syempre, hindi naman pwedeng pagkabinili mo yan, eh. Hindi mo na i-charge dyan yung effort mo para ikabit yung parts ng bicycle. Uh, Siyempre, consider mo pa dyan yung safety. Kailangan maayos yung pagkakabit. Hindi masisira ka agad. And then, maybe um, yung maintenance, no? Repairs and all. Kasi syempre, pag nagbenta ng product, normally may mga kasama yung warranty, so on and so forth. So, operating expense, ang sabi natin kanina is 20%. So, 20% Multiplied by the cost, 7,000, it's 1,400. Yun yung, yung pinakang operating expenses mo, no? And then, <coughs> profit. What's our target profit? Our target profit is 50% of 7,000, which translates to 3,500. So, may kita daw tayong 3,500 sa kada unit or kada bicycle na mabibenta. So, ngayon, nakuha na natin yung tatlong elements na yun, ano Yung cost, operating expense, and then the profit. Now, let's look at the rest. No? Sold na natin siya. Solve the following. Selling price. So, how do you get the selling price? It's cost plus uh, operating expense or expense plus profit. So, 7,000, yun yung cost ng parts ng bike. 1,400 would be your uh, operating expenses. And then, 3,500 would be your target profit. So, if you would add up all of these three, your answer is going to be 11,900. So, yan yung selling price natin, 11,900. Now, na-determine na natin yung selling price, which is 11,900. Uh, next is markup. Paano ba makukuha yung markup? It's selling price minus the cost. So, selling price natin is 11,900 minus the cost kanina na banggit na which is 7,000. Which gives us a markup of 4,900. So, meron na tayong sagot sa A, meron na tayong sagot sa B. The last part would be letter C. No? Paano natin malalaman yung markdown if the unit will be sold at a maximum of 10% off? Yun yung markdown natin. So, alamin muna natin ano yung sale price. Okay? Para makuha mo yung markdown. Magkano mo ba siya ibibenta na may discount? So, ang sale price natin is equals to selling price minus the markdown percent. Sabi natin, 10% ang markdown. So, subukan natin, ano, selling price, or sorry, sale price is equals to 11,900 minus 1, which means 100%, minus 10, or 0.10, 10%, which will give you 0. 0.9. So, 11,900 times 0. 0.9, your answer is 10,710. Okay. So, if you would um, deduct, no? If you would deduct the 10% from 11,900, okay? Your answer is 10,710. Yan yung sale price mo. Okay? So, minus 10% na yun, no? From the original price. So, markdown is equals to 
regular selling price minus sale price. Finally, makukompute na natin siya. So, regular selling price is 11,900. Tapos, ang sale price niya ay 10,710. Which gives us the answer of markdown, which is 1,190. So, yun yung markdown natin. Yan yung inawas natin from the total price. So, uh, very simple lang ano, yung pagkocompute ng markdown. Dapat lang natin tandaan that we have to get all of the elements in, a, in the computation such as cost, the operating expense, and then the, the selling price, the markup. No, yung mga bagay na yun. If you would be able to get that, madali na lang makuha yung markdown. At saka kahit pa ikot-ikutin mo siya, you would be able to answer it. Now, I would like to give this problem to you. No? Um, a, a game console company buys parts for uh, 10,000. So, yung uh, parts nila to assemble a gaming console is 10,000. And then their operating expenses is 30% uh, based from cost. And their target profit is 60%. Okay? So, with what I have taught you, compute for the selling price, the markup, and then the markdown if we will be selling the unit at a maximum of 10% off. So, if you would like to know the answer to this uh, assignment, no, feel free to um, send me a message because no, we, we already have an answer for this. Now, um, as always, thank you so much for watching this video and um, feel free to follow me on all the social media platforms I'm in such as uh, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn. I also have an Instagram. I'll just put it in my uh, description. So, with that, thank you so much. No? Uh, God bless. Stay safe, everyone. And to God be all the glory. Till our next episode.